Have you ever wondered what it would be like to go through life without being able to see and hear? There are some uh, unfortunate folks who have to face that physical reality every day. Thankfully, most of us don't. And we have physical sight and we have the physical sense of hearing available to us all the time. And yet, as business people, there, there's another kind of sight and another kind of hearing that's equally important, if not more important, than the physical part, the physical senses. Sometimes I think we as business people develop tunnel vision. And what we see in terms of our business is the tasks that we have to do every day, the telephone calls that we need to make, the paperwork we have to do, just the the everyday things that have to be accomplished in our business. But we don't spend time developing our vision, looking at the big picture, looking at what our business really can be, looking at what we want it to be, seeing the opportunities that are available to us in regards to selling our products and our services, seeing different ways in which we can serve our customers and bring them great customer service. It's the same way with hearing. How much time do we spend in the day really listening, listening to our customers, listening to our prospects, listening to the people that we network with, and maybe most important, just listening to our own intuition and paying attention to that still small voice that tells us what we need to do and how we need to proceed to be really successful. And so my sales tip for this week is for all of us to make a commitment to spend a little bit of time every day, either at night at the end of the day, Uh, or very early in the morning when we first get up, take some time to just sit down and visualize to see what our businesses really can be, to work on our businesses instead of just working in our businesses, and to listen, to listen to what other people are saying about what they need, what they want, what's best for them and also listening to our own intuition about how we can best serve ourselves and serve other people. That's your Red Cap Sales Coaching Tip of the Week. We hope you'll tune in next week for another one. Good selling.